Hello everybody, welcome back to Northwest Wing Shooters. My name is Rob. Today we're out here in southern Idaho and we just finished a quail hunt. Doing the intro after the hunt, uh, in this case. Just kind of wanted to get straight into hunting. We hunted a new spot today. Something that, uh, it was a pin on the map that I've been wanting to check out for a while. It's kind of hard to get to. Four wheel drive is required and the roads are kind of sketchy sometimes. I wouldn't even call it a road. <laughs> uh, more of a trail. We had a great hunt though. Um, the quail don't stand a chance with this kid on the ground. She is some kind of quail dog. Probably one of the best quail hunts I've ever had. And uh, it was great to get Coop out again. We had to leave him at home the other day. He's starting to develop some arthritis, I think. So uh, we're gonna have to taper back the chucker hunts with him and try to focus on more of the flatland stuff, pheasant and quail with him. So that's what we did today. A lot of you have been asking about my GPS collar system that I run. I'm gonna do a little review on that today. So stay tuned for that if you want to know what I use and how I set it up and what I think about it. Hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, please be sure to hit the like button as well as subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I always appreciate that. Thanks for that. We'll see you out in the field. All right, well, I'm just gonna take a moment and tell you guys about my uh, GPS collar that I use and how I set it up. I use the Dog Trip Pathfinder 2. So the unit consists of this connector. It's a Bluetooth connector because the main device that drives the Pathfinder 2 is the Pathfinder app. So on the Pathfinder app, we've got a number of different functions I typically just run it on this one, and you can, you've got your uh, dog controls here. So we've got Cooper and Dizzy, and you can select between, and this is how you get to your e-collar functions. Uh, Cooper doesn't re require much help in the line of e-collar correction. So the way that I do it is, um, I usually run it with Dizzy's page up. The last e-collar function that you used, you can simply hit this function button here, Whatever e-collar function you used last when you hit the function button will be applied. So that's pretty handy. That's some that they didn't have with the Pathfinder 1, which I used for a long time. This is my first season with the Pathfinder 2. Good thing to have because uh, with the app, this is probably one of my, was one of my biggest gripes about the unit. It still kind of is. It takes a minute to get on the app, to get the app out and apply correction to your dog. And you guys know, you know, there's times when you need to, correct a dog immediately, you know, whether it's to keep them safe, keep them out of somewhere you don't want them, or simply correct them for some kind of bad behavior, right? So we need to be able to do that quickly. So I really like that Dogtra added that function button to the connector uh, with this Pathfinder 2 unit. Also, I think this is a must. So all I have to do is raise my wrist and I can see where my dogs are direction and distance. You can tap on a certain dog and it'll bring up this sub menu. So this is Cooper, I have Cooper's set to orange. You can choose different colors for each dog. Cooper's orange, Dizzy's green. You swipe right and you get the correction screen, which is nice to have on the watch. And then the map screen, which I don't really use much. And that's why it's not downloaded. If you wanna use the maps, you can download the maps and you can have them. You can see, we don't have cell service, so there's nothing that doesn't show where we are. That's the watch, I think the watch is a must with the Pathfinder 2, because um, I have the point alert set up on my phone. So as long as your phone is not in do not disturb or on vibrate, you guys hear it during my videos, it'll say dizzy pointing or Cooper pointing. Then all I have to do is raise my wrist and I can get a direction and distance to my dog, walk to them, and hopefully flush up a bird and shoot it for them. One of the biggest downfalls in my opinion of the, path, of the Doctra Pathfinder system uh, with this version and the original is that they rely heavily on the phone. And so whenever there's changes made, whether you're using an iOS or an Android system, whenever those changes are made, Dogtra has to try to keep up with that. With the old unit, you could sleep the screen. If you put the phone in your pocket, the, sc the screen would sleep and it would really save a lot of battery. With this one, if you sleep the phone like that, 
the app doesn't come back up. So I don't get the point alerts if the screen is slept. So what I do to work around that is I just run the screen on a very low brightness like that, just bright enough where I can see it when I need to get back to it. Then I just put it in my pocket like that. Um, that's kind of a workaround that they recommended. And it's been working pretty well for me. I've put in some nine hour days in the Chucker Hills and don't have any problems with battery issue. You don't need service with this unit. You can have your phone in airplane mode and all, all it needs is GPS signal to run it. Uh, if you want the maps, like I said, you'd have to have them downloaded uh, or else you need to be in service to be able to see the maps. Overall, my honest opinion of the Dr. Pathfinder unit, it's priced at a good price point. Once you've set it up properly, uh, it works pretty well, especially when paired with a with a smartwatch. I'd recommend it, especially if you're looking for a cheaper option to the other unit and something that still works great. Uh, I'd recommend it. And if you guys want one, I got a discount code. You can go to dogtra.com, type in NWing5 at checkout, and you'll get 5% off of your purchase or $200 or more. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have any other questions, and I'll try my best to answer them for you. Thanks and enjoy the rest of the video. This isn't really what I was hoping to see. The creek is dry. In my experience, quail really need a reliable source of water. So if this creek is dry now, in December, probably not a good source of year-round water. There's a lot of cattails though and stuff. We'll see, never know. That was a double. Some quail. Excellent. Down in here. Dead birds. Find them. Hunt dead. Dead. Fetch. Good girl, Dizzy. Bring it here. Good, here. Good girl. Find the other one. One quail down. There's another one, guys. Come on, hunt dead. Find it. Hunt dead, dead bird. I was thinking that that would be the second one. Good girl, Dizzy. Hunt dead. Dead bird. Here's my wad. <sighs> Probably from that one. Dizzy pointing. Good girl. 
Bring it here, Des. Good girl. Fetch it here. Good girl, here. I got it. I got it. Good girl. Good girl, Dizzy. Dizzy found it. Good girl, Diz. Fetch it here. Another male. I had to shoot that one twice. I'm just gonna work this low and see what happens. behind her. Sorry, Des. That bird's dead. You gotta go back for that one. Thing was holding tight. I don't know how far it flew after it went over this hill. It's a problem. There's feathers rolling in the wind. It could have flown a ways. Good girl, Dizzy. Fetch it here. Fetch you here. Fetch you here. Good girl. Hey. Good. Good girl, Dizzy. Come on, hey, here, come on. Fetch it here. <laughs> you calling that good enough? Good girl. Good find, Diz. That one held tight. I gotta count my birds. You guys need some water? Dizzy, you gotta let Cooper get a bird in his mouth. Cooper, you've been working hard, buddy. Dizzy's just a little better than you at this. Dead bird. Guy's dead. Cooper. Coop, stay, stay, this one's for Cooper, let Cooper get this one, let him get one, okay, good boy, dead, good boy, fetch it here, buddy, come on, bud, can you get it here, let's go this way, Bring it here, bud. Fetch it here. Come on. Fetch here. Here. Over here. Good boy. Good boy. Hey, come here. I got it. I got it. I got it. Good boy. 
Good boy. Okay, let's go find him. Find some more. I'm kind of running out of cover up here. I know that most of the covey went this way. I had a good time hunting singles. This bottom is kind of all that's left for him for cover. I think there was birds in here recently. That's what they're smelling. They're running because there's not a lot of cover. Interesting to find them. I don't know. How much farther this way I want to go. It's possible that they came up here and then circled back because there's not a lot of cover for them to hold in in here. Now we'll go we'll go work this patch of sage here and then we'll head back down into the creek. And there was some more down there. Dizzy pointing. Good girl, Dizzy. Come on, Diz, fetch here. Good girl, fetch here. Good. Good girl. Another male. Nice point by Diz. Let's do that again, Diz. Good girl, Dizzy. Good girl, Dizzy. God, she's such a pro. She's not even two yet. She have it dead or is she oh geez good girl dizzy good girl that's a limit Good girl. Fetch here. Good girl. Okay. <laughs> oh man, those poor quail don't stand a chance with Dizzy on the ground. Beautiful male to cap off the limit. Where is it? Get it, Diz.
Where is it? Good boy, Cooper. Good boy, buddy. Here. Come here. Here. Good. I can't shoot any more quail. Pretty darn good little spot that we got into. All right, everyone. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that was only the second time ever that I've shot a limit of quail. There was a lot of them back in there, and it's pretty obvious that they don't get hunted a lot because uh, they held really well for the dogs. We got some great dog work today. And uh, boy, Dizzy is just something, isn't she? She's quite the little quail queen. They don't stand a chance with her on the ground. It's almost unfair uh, the way that she works those things. But I'm thankful to have her. She's an awesome dog. It was nice to get Cooper out again after having to leave him at home the other day. We're gonna keep him hunting as long as we can. I spend a lot of time making these videos. It means a lot to me to see that other people like them. As long as it seems that people enjoy the videos, I'll keep making them. It really keeps me motivated. I'm certainly not doing it for money, guys. I know that you see ads on the videos now. I definitely don't make enough money on it to uh, justify the amount of time it takes to make them. I simply do it because I enjoy watching the videos. I enjoy making the videos. And I love to see that you guys like the videos too. So please hit the like button if you haven't already subscribe to the channel. Thanks for that. We'll see you out in the field next time.